Hello everybody, today I'm at the Chicago Auto Show taking a look at this 2023 Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Absolutely beautiful red tint coat exterior color. Starting off up front, we are gonna have the High Country style grill with High Country stamped into the upper portion of the grill. New updated LED headlights with accent C channel lights as well as fog lights down below. Your front facing parking sensors are gonna be integrated into the upper portion of the bumper. This guy is gonna have chrome tow recovery hooks. Because this has the three liter Duramax engine, it also is gonna come with the block heater on the driver's side portion of the bumper. It's also gonna have your 360 degree camera system, so your front facing camera is gonna be right there underneath the Chevy bow tie. Coming up top, taking a look at the hood, we have your Duramax badging right here. On the corner panel, we have your high country badging. Coming down to the wheel and tire setup, I believe we have a 22 inch um, brushed and regular chrome wheel. It looks like it's a Bridgestone Alenza. It's a 275-50 R22. This guy does have the mud guards as well. Also a thicker coat of paint along the rocker panels to protect against uh, paint chips and corrosion. You also have your Silverado applique along the uh, doors on both sides. Chrome tubular power deployable running boards brushed chrome looking mirror caps with your 360 degree camera system right there this guy does have blind spot monitoring deployable running boards right there which i'll show you something in a second we've got your passive entry system so as long as you have the key fob on you you can lock and unlock the vehicle from the driver's side or passenger side door if you need to access the bed simply kick on this button right there the running board will deploy out a little bit more so you can get up into the bed easy when you're done simply kick it away and you're good to go. Right here we have your um, capless diesel fill port with your DEF fill port right there. Rear splats, rear mud guards, uh, paint matched bumper. Now this bumper looks a little bit weird to me. It is not similar to what usually comes on the other trucks. Um, it's a little bit smaller of a bumper step. You got your integrated parking sensors into the bottom portion of the bumper. You also have your dual exhaust right here. Silverado is gonna be stamped into the tailgate. Your Silverado badging is gonna be on the driver's side and then your high country badging is gonna be on the passenger side. You have your seven pin connector right here as well as your in trailer camera and then the back of trailer camera. Backup camera is gonna be right here. LED puddle lamp for connecting a trailer in low light conditions. Up top, you have a third brake light, a cargo camera, and a rear view mirror camera with the wing. Full LED tail lamp. Your blind spot monitor typically is located right in here. This wing is designed to shoot air over the bed, so if you don't have a tonneau cover, you won't suffer from increased drag. This is one beautiful looking truck. That three liter Duramax is very, very stout. Let's take a closer look at the interior. All right, so starting over here on the driver's side door, we have this real nice soft leather, real wood looking trim, high country badging on the door itself, all your window controls, all your mirror controls, two seat memory and your lock and unlock buttons, as well as your Bose premium audio speaker and a huge pocket for um, cups and storage. Right over here, we have your electronic parking brake button push button transfer case, drive mode for the vehicle, as well as your push button trailer tow mode, fog light button, cargo lamp button, dimmer switch for your instrument cluster, as well as your rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle. Up top, we have a heads up display, really nice, soft, rubberized, almost leather feeling dashboard. Right here, we have a fully digital instrument cluster, which is very customizable and programmable. I absolutely love it. Coming back to the steering wheel, we have on the high country, the uh, super drive or what I, I always forget what it's called, super cruise. It's the semi-autonomous um, uh, driving for the vehicle, which is pretty cool. You got your little light indicator here, and then you got your sensor right there. Very cool. Pedal shifters on this guy. On the left side of the steering wheel, we have all the cruise control buttons, as well as your lane keep assist and your gap adjustment for your adaptive cruise control settings. And then over on the right side, we have your steering wheel mounted call buttons, as well as the control pad for the center uh, LCD display. Up top above the touchscreen display, we have a nice little storage tray right there. 
coming down to the touchscreen display. I believe it's 17.7 .7 inches horizontally. It is powered by Google, uh, Google Maps, very high definition. It's got wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, zone lighting, uh, pre-trip. Like you, you, can, you can pretty much go through everything um, and do everything through the touchscreen display, which is awesome. Home button, volume button, power button for the touchscreen display. Right here we have a bank of buttons. I will go over them from left to right. We have your lane keep assist, parking sensors off, automatic start stops off, uh, tailgate down and up, hazard light button, traction control off, and then this button will roll down all four windows at once. Push button start's gonna be right here. Here's a quick shot of the uh, touch screen. We have your card system, we have your trailering checklist. This, this thing is so sweet. Um, I could do a whole video just on all the features on this guy. Push button start, like I said, integrated trailer brake controller, dual zone climate control with heated and ventilated seats, heated steering wheel button's gonna be right there for the driver. Something that I love that General Motors does is they give you the option to just turn the heated seat back on independent from the seat itself. Nice storage tray right here. USB-C, USB outlet, two cup holders. Nice storage tray again, chain storage. Minimalist style shifter. Uh, typically, I prefer the shifter to be up here, but um, if it's gonna be down here, this is definitely the one I want to have. Wireless charging mat right here. That brings us to the really nice um, center armrest slash storage compartment. Lift up on it, giving us access to a USB-C, USB outlet, and a power outlet right here. If you are gonna use this vehicle as a business vehicle or a business write-off, uh, section 179, you have your file folders right here so you can keep all your files organized, nice and neat. High Country is stitched onto the headrests. Two-tone black and kind of caramel brown interior seats. This guy has two glove boxes. The first one is right here and it is wood. Looks really nice. Push this button to open it. Second one is gonna be right down here. Coming up top to the vanity, it's gonna be LED lit for your passenger as well as your driver. Up top on the headliner, we have a three-door universal garage remote, power sliding window control, single pane sunroof control, and then all of your LED dome map light master controls. Right here, we have your um, video camera rear view mirror. Right now, it's a regular mirror. Flick it forward, it becomes a camera. You can control the brightness, how high or how low the camera views, as well as how zoomed in or zoomed out the camera is. When you're done, flick it back, and it becomes a mirror again. Pretty cool. Um, I think Super Cruise is new for 2023, if I'm, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's new for 2023. Um, this vehicle is absolutely insane. It was a much needed refresh from the outgoing uh, model. It's way more in line now and way more competitive with the competition. Let's take a look at the back and see how much legroom we have. So before I get in, I do want to point out these seats do fold up, giving us access to some under seat storage. We have almost a load flat floor. We have in-seat storage on both driver and passenger sides. This seat is pushed back a little bit more than it would be if I was driving, but I've done enough of these videos to know that from the back of, or the front of this seat to the back of this seat, you have about two and a half feet to three feet, depending on how far forward this seat is with the person driving. It looks like you're gonna get storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Two cup holders right here, heated captain's chairs, rear air conditioning vents, USB-C on the driver's side, USB on the passenger side. This center seat does have a fold down armrest slash cup holder. And because this guy has a single pane sunroof, you don't have a terrible crazy amount of room as the driver. My head still didn't touch the uh, headliner, but back here they push the headliner up a solid three and a half to four inches to maximize headroom for the rear occupants, which is nice. LED dome map lights in the middle, hanger hooks on the outermost portion of the headliner, and then you have your grab handle on the B pillar. So very comfortable in here. Um, I love that the uh, infotainment system and all the HVAC stuff and everything is angled towards the driver. It does give you kind of more cockpit command seating and it makes things very easy to reach for the driver. Let's take a quick look at the bed. There's a couple ways to open the tailgate on this guy. The first way is with the button underneath the touchscreen display. Second way is with the key fob, and the third way is the more traditional way. And I say traditional because most manufacturers are going away with the actual latch and going more with a button setup. You push it, it will automatically come down for you. You have three tie-down points in each of the four corners for a class-leading 12 tie-down points. 
You also have LED bed lighting, and on the passenger side, you have a uh, looks like a 120 volt, 400 watt power outlet right there. If you look closely too, uh, General Motors pushed out the sides of the bed to maximize cargo space, and I believe they also have class leading cargo space for their beds. Now, if you remember that button I had showed you in the uh, cab underneath the touchscreen display, you can push that, it will lower the tailgate, it will also bring it back up. So I have one hand holding the camera, one hand right here. I can take my knee, see if I can balance without falling, slowly lift up on the tailgate, and then it'll automatically close it the rest of the way, which is pretty sweet. Let's take a quick look at the towing and payload sticker for this vehicle. Here's a towing and payload sticker for this vehicle. Keep in mind, if you see one on your lot that's slightly different than this, it could be because it is optioned slightly differently. Typically, the more packages and options you add, the less towing and payload you'll get. Now, unfortunately, Chevy didn't bring any window stickers with them to the uh, auto show, so I won't be able to go over MSRP and packages on this vehicle. But if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving me a like and share. If you want to keep up to date with more vehicle walkthroughs or Chicago auto show content, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.